I, I won't lose. Lieutenant, off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this, out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. here I want to put a book out someday right to put the truth in the hands of the people but I'm just a radio news grunt you know I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket so I figured I'd ask you think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started I'd make it worth your while you guys could feature in the book I write I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. Thanks a million. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Paying your 
respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader. Hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for?
come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Trade all you want. I've got all day. Shock Troopers! out there. out of the scouts. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule, same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that. Could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Sergeant Potter, 
and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? There ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Dramatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about them is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. <laughs>
Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Bruel. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh-huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Here is a brief on the task at hand.
Let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia! Squad 7, move out! Ready to die, imps.
Operation complete. We took their base. Thank you. 